So what we're going to do today is break down Paul Pierce's footwork. And from the presentation that I just showed you guys, I want to build it from the ground up. Everything that he does or anything a good offensive player, and, and Paul is one of the best, he's probably one of the first players outside of Jordan uh, and, you know, that I, and probably Kobe that I studied. I probably studied Paul before Kobe as far as his footwork because in my, my, my eyes he had the best offensive footwork of all time. And he was very simple with his feet. He could do multiple things, but he just basically kept it simple. So we're going to build it from the catch and shoot, the catch and drive right and show the footwork there, catch and drive left, and then we'll go straight line drive, his jab game, spins, and then we're going to end on a step back. So the video's a little choppy because it's from 2008. They didn't really have HD back then, but just bear with me. So we'll start on the catch and shoot way there. So again, shot ready on the perimeter, left, right, into the shot. Now everyone's going to shoot the ball a little bit differently. Um, some are going to be very, you know, square to the basket. Some are going to twist and turn in the air. And everyone shoots a little bit of a different way. But what I want you to concentrate on is the left, right on the catch. All right? Don't worry about the shot. That's some, for some other expert. This is what just offensive footwork. So here, shot ready in the perimeter. Again, right foot, last foot to hit the ground, right foot on the catch and shoot. Left, right, into the shot. And the reason why you have to be consistent with your feet is you want to get the shot off quickly. You want to be focused in on the shot. So when you don't have the ball in your hands, you have to be trying to get shot ready and to step into your shot. Left, right, shot. And, and try to be as quickly and as efficient with your feet as possible. Again, just getting ready, left, right, shot quick. Okay, so the going right. Remember, the last foot to hit the ground, you, you already caught on the left, right. So the last foot to hit the ground, I don't care if it's a one dribble, two dribble, three dribble. The last foot to hit the ground should be your right foot going right. And let's see Paul Pierce in, in action doing that. Again, right, left, right, another shot. Here he's getting crowded. All right, he lifts on a fake. Right, left, right, raise up, shot. Here it's just a dribble, you know, isolation. A little bit of a hop in the shot. And Paul... You know, Paul was one of those great offensive players that he could do a little bit of both and he could drive off either foot or, or jump stop or one two. Most of his stuff is a one two, but again, efficient feet off the dribble. This is a little bit into a hop, but again, just being efficient with his feet. Driving off that front foot ends on that left right. And offensively, you always want to go low to high. So you catch low. The only time you come up, I don't care if you jab, you fake, you step back, whatever you're going to do, the last foot that after it hits the ground, you raise up to shoot on the shot. You don't raise up any, to any time before that. And Paul does a good job of being low and being efficient on the shot. Again, more isolation oriented. Get into the left right, a little step back, but still left right. We're gonna drive left now. Now we talked about the last foot to hit the ground going right, it's always left right into a right into a righty drive. Now he's gonna go left. The last foot to hit the ground is gonna be his left foot. So let's let's go to work. Again, right left, raise up. And we talked about staying low, driving low, and then right, left, and then raising up on the shot. See how Paul does a great job on his fake? And that's why just stay low, raise your defender up on the fake, defender goes up, doesn't waste any time, 
Lefty drive, right, left, right into the shot. That's efficient. So important. I don't care if this is footwork or not, but on your drives, teaching your players how to change speeds. And look at him, just sort of raise up Finley a little bit. And go. And then once he gets into his drive, change his speeds. And then into a right-left shot. It doesn't matter what kind of move you make. Okay? It doesn't matter what kind of move you make. Combo move jab, just a catch and drive, it all ends on a lefty drive with a right left at the end. Just have knowing what your feet are doing at all times. Okay, we're going to get into the straight line drive game now. And on straight line drives, you got to understand, on the catch and go, you can't waste time, you can't waste space. When you catch it, you got to try to go as straight line to the basket as possible. I don't care how many moves you set up before the drive. When you start your drive, I don't care if it's a catch and go from the wing, coming off a pin down, pick and roll, post up, isolation, doesn't matter. When you start your drive going right, left, and doesn't matter, you want to be straight, you want to be body to body with your defender, and you want to initiate contact in any drive you go, you do. Initiating contact is good for a couple of reasons. A, it clears more space to get a shot off. And B, it, it gets you to the free throw line. But you can't shy away from contact because now you're going to take long angles to the basket, giving the defense a, ch- a chance to get in the play. Also, it's just less efficient, and it just it, it's going to angle you off you know, into an inefficient, bad play, bad basketball play. So watch on Pierce's drives how he initiates contact. He's in straight lines. And then he's, he's, he's really good with his finishes. And blows by the defender. You see as he keeps that left foot down. All right. He, right foot free. Drives to the left. Straight line. Finish. Offensively. We don't cover this a lot, but the defender follows two things. They default, they, he follows the moving foot, and they follow where the ball is. So as Pierce opens up here, we'll go slow on the open up. See as the defender you know, goes to the middle because that's where the moving foot and the ball is. So now once that foot lands, he just takes off. See the balance? Defender's balance goes to the, uh, goes to the uh, offensive player's right, taking the right and middle away. And then once that foot lands, doesn't play with the ball, just catches, foot lands, and then straight line drive right to the basket. Miraculous finish, but I don't care about the finish. I care about how the move was started. So as you can see there, catches the ball. Once he faces up, he just drives it, initiates contact, straight line drive in, one finish. Here's an elbow isolation, same thing. Catches the ball, rips through, and then gets to the basket. Initiates contact, should have got the end one there. But again, nice and low, drives the ball, ball's protected, and then puts that shoulder into him like a fullback and takes the contact in the finish. Doesn't matter. Whatever move you make, you change speeds. You go body to body, and you go straight line to the basket. Does a good job on the in and out here. Not right to the rim. Pierce is very efficient with his drives. Very sneaky, quick, and very underrated as far as how quick he was. Because he was so bulky looking, you thought that he didn't have much drive and explosion. And as you can see here... Just puts the defender to sleep a little bit and then drives him, stays low, initiates that that contact, gets to the rim, finish with the left hand. So 
So this was an easy setup. The defender sort of plays to the high side here. Okay, plays to the high side. I think that's Tayshaun Prince. And here, Pierce just has the ball, plays to the high side, sort of change, just sets him up slow, finishes him fast, and just rips through to the baseline. It takes the contact, doesn't hide from the contact, takes it, gets to the rim, finish, basket. A couple things in the jab. That defender's going to follow the foot. They're going to respect the drive if you straight line drive. If you have a drive game, they're going to respect that drive. So the jab's a fake drive. You want to keep the ball protected, left hip, Jab with the right foot, keep the ball protecting the left foot. Why do you do that? Because you want to protect the ball and you want to open up the left side of the drive. Because remember, if you're jabbing to the, your right, your defender is going to cut that off. It, it, now the ball is in your left hand and it opens up a lefty drive. It's protected and it opens up the lefty drive. So watch Pierce does a great job how to create space, does it simple, and then just plays off the defender's movement. If the defender goes back on the jab, he shoots it. If he jabs him and then comes back for the shot and the defender's balance is you know, up, he's going to play to his balance. Balance is going towards the defender. Now he's going to open up his drive game. So again, we're going to start with the jab jumper, and then we're just going to go different directions as he can drive off the jab. Let's go to work. So here's, here's just a simple catch. Drops that jab. Ball's, ball's sort of protected. Jab. Defender goes back. Jump shot. Real simple on this. Catches it. Left hip. Jabs it with the right foot. Ball's protecting the left side. See how the defender reacts to that? Jab. Defender goes back. Jump shot. Ball protected. Just plays off that defender. Now he holds the ball a little bit. You know, that's sort of the game they played back then. You know, opposed to today where everything's a catch and drive or catch and shoot. But does a great job protecting the ball. Does a great job, you know, creating space. And then just being really simple with his feet. Again, keeps that ball protected. I'd rather do multiple clips on the jab and jump shot so you could know how to set it up and know how to teach it. He wants to keep that ball on the left hip, have the right foot do all the work, left foot stays down, jab, defender reacts, and opens up that space to create space for that shot. So as the jab comes... All right, as the jab comes, we know what the defender is going to do. Now, as the defender comes back, all right, as the defender comes back, so you jab, he goes back, he pulls his foot back. That defender now is going to go towards the ball, balance goes forward, and then using that fake to get the defender up, now it opens up his drive game. A little one dribble jump shot going left, right, left, and it was in, into his pull up. So, again, the jab pulls the defender one way and then opens up that lefty drive. We talked about that, but the ball on the left hip, jab, all right, defender goes to the defender's right, on the offensive player's right, and now all he has to do, balance is going to be used against him, all he has to do is raise up with the right-left jump shot. And he used his jab very well getting into a step back. All right, so it's a jab. That two dribble bump right in the right into the mid uh, the mid range game, a little step back jump shot going left. He didn't really like to go to his right as much. If he's gonna go to his right, it's usually a drive left spin back to his right. Uh, sometimes if he's forced to, he'll jab uh, jab fake go right and, and pull up. But mostly it's a drive uh, drive left, you know, spin back to the right jump shot. And we'll cover a spin game soon. Again, using that jab to open up the drive. Defender goes back, and then he doesn't even wait. Once that defender is leaning one way, he then you know leans to his right. Then he drives to his left and gets to the basket. Very efficient driver. All right, so 
every offensive player with their feet to cre- using their feet to create space has a move or moves they like to go to. As you can see, he was a powerful player, catch and shoot game, drive, you know, likes to drive in isolations or off of just a catch and go. Used his jabs to open up the jump shot and the drive. Now, as he you like to drive, when a defender takes something away, you got to use your feet to be able to create something else. He liked to spin, especially driving left, spinning back right. But again, when he's low on the drive, he gets that spin and doesn't really waste space. It's a spin off the one foot, and then once that second foot comes down, it's a jump shot usually. So let, let's watch him. Let's watch him do it in action. So as you can see, drives left, spin back, and again, spin it back to his right. It's a left right on the on the finish. He's a big fan of using spins. He has a spin drive left, spin back right. Again, as that defender sort of commits, all right, uses his body, all right, uses that body, and then watch that left foot comes around, and then left right into a fadeaway jump shot. Like to do it in the mid range. It was a very efficient move for him. Uses his body, really good ball handler. Again, spaces it out, spin back to the right, and again going going right. What does he do? Left right, just like we talked about. Left right pull up. I'm a big fan of the spin if you do it efficiently and you're not wasting time. You don't want to be dribbling around 15 times and then get into a spin. Dribble one direction, defender cuts you off, then you get to a quick spin, one, two, step in your jump shot. So here again, drives left, spins back to his right. If you do a good enough job on the drive, they're going to get all balanced going back. Use his body to get the defender back. All right, cuts him off. He sees, the, he sees the double coming from, from the defender here and then just uses a spin jump shot to create that space. Again, that, again one of his favorites, going left, spinning back right. So he comes there, help defender comes. There's plenty of space to make his spin. Def, you know, his defender gets taken out by the screen, drives it, spin, one, two step, puts the brakes on, jump shot. Now here you could take it all the way to the rim. Just easy moves, not 15 moves. He drives to the basket, defender takes it away. So what does he do? He just spins, one, two, gets to the basket, finish. All right, now let's talk about the step backs. Now, step backs has taken on a life of its own now with Harden and, you know, Harden, Curry, Doncic, and the way they do it. With Pierce, with especially wing players, what he would do is, again, on his jabs and drives, he's usually just a powerful step back guy. He's not really going to, you know, dribble 50 times before he steps somebody back. He plays off a defender. If a defender gets into his way, he, again, just for a counter, goes to, goes to a counter move into a step back. So just watch, watch how the defender takes something away and just watch how he used a step back as a tool on his drive step backs uh, or step backs to get to a three-point shot. So now on the step back, the footwork going into it. When you're going left, you want to step back off your right foot. All right, So you step back into a V off your right foot. When you drive it right, your left foot is going to be the foot you step back on. As you see, he's nice and low on his drive. Defender, so defender takes Jefferson takes it away. Watch that left foot. All right, steps back, gets his feet set, and just creates that space right there. Jump shot. See how he uses his shoulder and uses his body. All right, on the catch, drives it. Makes that contact with the defender and then steps back in a V and steps back out, creates that space, jump shot. No waste of time, no waste of space. With the lane cleared right here, drives to his left, steps back off his right foot and then gets his feet set, jump shot. So here's his whole offensive game. We built it from the catch and shoot, the catch and drive right with the left right finish, driving left, right left finish, straight line drive, 
being able to get straight lines, to be able to create contact, be able to create space on the jab, keeping that ball on your left hip, and to be able to jab a defender off and open up the jump shot and the drive going right and left. But as you drive right and left, using the footwork that we learned on the first segment, left, right, going right, right, left, going left, but doing everything with that permanent pivot foot, that right foot is the foot that's going to be free. The spins where if a defender on a drive or a defender takes something away, being efficient to use that spin, one, two, step into your shot, going right or left, even though Pierce just did it left to right, and then using the step back where you're using your shoulder, stepping back off the left foot going right and the right foot going left. Pierce had one of the best offensive games I've ever seen with his ability to use his feet. He was a shot maker, could take you off the dribble, had a body like a linebacker or a fullback, and you know, took contact, uses his fakes, his spins, can post up, but just a great player to be able to emulate in any great offensive setting. Let's go to the question answer and answer any questions you have. Thank you.